Hello friends, myself Professor Prashant Mahajan, working as an assistant professor at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So today we are going to discuss the topic external treatment of water and numericals. So in external treatment we are going to see geolite process and numerical based on the geolite process and ion exchange process or which is also called as deionization process. So what is geolite? So geolite it is also called as permitted process and it is only for cation exchange. So what is geolite? So geolite is actually the hydrated sodium alumino silicate. So you can see so this is geolite hydrated sodium alumino silicate. So it can exchange only cations present in the water. So this is the formula of geolite that is Na2O, Al2O3, XSiO2, YH2O, where X is from 2 to 6, sorry, 2 to 10 and Y is from 2 to 6. So geolites can be obtained naturally in the porous rocks. Principal Geolite has property of capturing the heavy metal ions from water and in exchange it releases the N plus ion due to the removal of heavy metal ions calcium plus 2 and Mg plus 2 from the water hardness of water converted into soft water by geolite. The porous nature of geolite structure permits free movement of water molecules and specific ions. So this is the principle that means this sodium get exchange with calcium and magnesium and that means hardness is removed and sodium is exchange with that hardness. So there are two types of geolite, one is natural geolite, so natural or non-porous, amorphous and durable, that is example is given nitrolite, so that is Na2O, Al2O3, 4 SiO2, 2 H2O, whereas second synthetic it can be prepared synthetically by fusion of silica, alumina and soda. So that is synthetic geolite. So this is the diagram of geolite you can see first this is hard water sample then there is geolite bed then it's fine gravels then coarse gravels. So this geolite bed it is also called as Na2Z. So in short that geolite is called as Na2Z. So what it does? So geolite is present here and this is calcium bicarbonate and magnesium sulfate it is present in the water as hardness so this is present in the water so what happens you can see Na2Z will capture or exchange calcium from the calcium bicarbonate and gives calcium Z and twice NaHCO3 that is sodium bicarbonate similarly this sodium Z will react with magnesium sulfate to give magnesium Z and sodium sulfate. That means from here calcium bicarbonate will come, it will remain here as calcium Z and it will give you sodium bicarbonate. So you can see here magnesium sulfate or calcium chloride is there and Na2Z that will react with the two and that will produce calcium Z and magnesium Z. So that will be present on the geolite bed and in exchange it will give you sodium sulfate and sodium chloride and that is soft water. So sodium is not causing that much hardness as compared to calcium and magnesium. So this is called as exchange reaction. So you can write any salt for the exchange reaction. Then next is regeneration reaction that means this calcium Z and magnesium Z is converted to Na2Z. That procedure is called as regeneration. Means what? 
after exchanging uh, liters of water that sodium Z is going to convert into calcium Z and magnesium Z that means the exchange capacity of geolite bed gets exhausted so we have to regenerate this bed by using brine solution so brine solution is nothing but 10% NaCl solution so you can put that brine solution from here and you can see the reaction so this is the product form already calcium Z and magnesium Z so that is here that will react with NaCl so that will give you Na2Z and you can see here that calcium Z if it reacts with NaCl that will give you Na2Z plus CaCl2 and if magnesium Z is reacting that will give you Na2Z plus MgCl2 so this is shown here diagrammatically so NaCl will react with calcium Z and magnesium Z that will regenerate Na2Z and in washings it will give calcium chloride and magnesium chloride so that can be removed from here so that is geolite process its reactions and regeneration reaction next is advantages of geolite process first hardness is completely removed second compact equipment occupies less space then third no precipitation of impurities then no danger of sludge formation fourth it is a clean process fifth it requires less time easy process it is low cost process and last water obtained has hardness about 10 ppm then limitations first warm water cannot be softened as de decomposes geolite bed second the ions like Magnes plus 2, iron plus 2 are permanently trapped or captured in the geolite bed, so that cannot be softened. Third, water containing acidity or alkalinity may destroy geolite crystals and also preferable pH is 7. So alkaline water and acidic water cannot be used in the geolite method. And last, the method is applicable only for small scale, so we cannot soft, soften the large scale water from this method and last is application so for first for removing hardness causing ion second to remove toxic metal ions and dye cations so we can remove toxic metal ions and dye cations and last to recover valuable trace metals from industrial waste so that are the applications of geolite method the next one is Formulas for calculation, so that are the three formulas you have to use uh, directly, uh, means you have to use first formula like am amount of NaCl in milligram is equal to gram per liter NaCl into volume of NaCl in 2000. So after calculating first value, you have to use that value in the second formula. You can see here second formula amount of NaCl as CaCO3 equivalent is equal to amount of NaCl which is coming from this first formula into 50 divided by 58.5 after getting this value you have to use this value in the third formula that you can see um, hardness of water into liter of water is equal to amount of NaCl in CaCO3 equivalent so these are the three formula which are stepwise in stepwise manner so you can see the first numerical a geolite bed gets exhausted on treatment of 2000 liter of water sample so this is liter of water so this is required in the third formula liter of water the exhausted bed gets requ requires 20 liter 12 percent NaCl so liter of NaCl is given which is required here volume of NaCl 12 percent means what 12 means 12 percent means what 12 upon 100 so we require for liter so liter means 1000 ml so 12 by 100 that is nothing but 120 by 1000 so here 120 gram will come so solution for its regeneration calculate hardness of water so you can see the directly numerical so first numerical is there a geolite bed get exhausted on treatment of 2000 liter of water sample the exhausted bed gate required 20 liter of 12% NaCl solution for its regeneration calculate the hardness of water sample so what is given write the given thing first liter of water is 2000 liter of NaCl is 20 liter 
Then gram of NaCl that is given 12 percent that means 12 upon 100 ml that is nothing but 120 upon 1000 ml and 1000 ml means what? 1 liter. So we require or we have to calculate hardness of water. So by putting the values, so first formula is amount of NaCl is in milligram is equal to gram per liter NaCl into liter of NaCl into 1000. So gram per liter NaCl is given that is 120 liter of NaCl is 20 and 1000 it is to convert gram into milligram so that will become 120 into 20 into 1000 so that answer comes 2.4 into 10 raised to 6 milligram of NaCl you have to use this value in the second formula so second formula will become amount of NaCl as CaCO3 equivalent is equal to 2.4 into 10 raised to 6 into 50 divided by 58.5 so what is 50? So 50 it is the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate. What is 58.5? That is equivalent weight of NaCl. That is Na is 23.5 plus sorry 23 plus 35.5 that is 58.5. After calculation you will get the value 2.0512 into 10 raised to 6. You have to use this value in the third formula that is hardness of water into liter of water is equal to 2.0512 into 10 raised to 6. Upon putting the value that is liter of water is 2000. This is, it is multiplied here that will be go to the divide factor. So hardness of water will be 2.051 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 2000 and that answer comes 1025.6 ppm of CaCO3 equivalent. So in this way you can solve second numerical. So first and second numerical is same. So you can see here, here is 2000 liter, here is 2400, then here is 20 liter, here is 10 liter, here is 12, here is 8 percent. The same way you can solve the second numerical. So this is one way of solving the numerical. So this is one type of numerical and second numerical is there. Second type is there. You can solve in the reverse manner. So you can read the numerical. A geolite weight get exhausted on softening sorry, 5000 liter of water of hardness 250 ppm CaCO3 equivalent. Calculate amount of 10% NaCl solution required in liters for its regeneration. So in this numerical we have to go in the reverse direction means you have to calculate this first then you are going to use this one and then this you can see here so given liter of water is 5000 hardness of water is 250 then 10 percent NaCl means what 10 upon 100 ml that is 10 upon 1000 ml that is 100 gram you have to calculate liter of NaCl from the formulas hardness of water is equal into liter of water is equal to amount of NaCl as CaCO3 equivalent that is hardness of water is 250 liter of water is 500 is equal to amount of NaCl as CaCO3 but this is nothing but equal to amount of NaCl into 50 divided by 58.5 so this is nothing but equal to again gram per liter NaCl into liter of NaCl divided by 1000 so this is equal to this is equal to this much and that will be finally 5000 into 250 is equal to 100 into liter of NaCl into 1000 into 50 divided by 58.5. So this is multiplied here 1, 2, 3. So this will go to the divide factor here. And this is divided. So this will go to the other side as multiplication. So liter of NaCl is equal to 5000 into 250 into 58.5 divided by 100 into 1000 into 50. So final answer will come 14.6 percent. So in this numerical we have to go from third step to second and first. So you can solve the numerical number third this one. So that is about geolite process principle, then types of geolite, then reactions, regeneration reaction, diagram, advantages, limitation, application and numericals. Thank you.